Now, when it comes to the financial district, this area and the subsequent areas are very tough for a variety of reasons. One is the sheer number of enemies here, and the other is that a lot of these enemies will have weapons that can kill you in one go. And even if they don't, they will still do an awful lot of damage. So you have guys with rifles who can take off most of your health at long distance. Guys with shotguns who can kill you with one if they're in the same room. I sort of shot a rifle before. And but it was that rat. combined with others who will take the opportunity to try and flank you as well. So there's a lot of danger here, which is why it's generally good to approach it from a uh, well prepared point of view rather than to try and improvise. Grab it right there. With very little resources. You're gonna want to get another round in there quick. Listen to me. So we need at least one nail bomb for this area. We have two, so that's gonna make this even better. The one would go here. The hell's he yapping about? Take a breath. Who's dead? Whole crew. And then we throw the second one. Don't let him get away. Son of a bitch. On the way, we'll get the blades. We'll take what health we need. And then we're. Ideally, up here with the throwable and with the guy with the rifle not seeing us. So we go along here. And then this little corner is where we're going to spend a lot of our time because it's going to allow us to be safe. They will come in here in small numbers and that should allow us to take them out. Ellie will take some out as well once we go loud. And it can involve some waiting, but... That's honestly a lot safer than Is he over there? He's not here. Come on, let's keep searching. And I foolishly hadn't beforehand, so this is a good opportunity to make sure I am, in fact, fully reloaded. Again, getting impatient will result in potentially guys with shotguns or rifles taking you out. So there's no issue with going loud so, per se, but being out of cover does not do us any favours. Bring 
right here. Get down. Again, shuffling about will give us. Allow us to attract their attention if we, if they're taking too long. He's not here. Let's keep searching. Again, you can tell when Ellie's got killed because you'll hear A, them screaming and B, her exclaiming in victory. And that will slow down the influx into the office. But you just need to essentially be aware of them coming in both potential directions they could come from. Let's keep searching! Hey! Over here! Behind the desk! If you do mess up, make sure you utilize health. Don't be uh, too cavalier with it. Right, come on and Joel will stand up when you're done. But well, that's pretty much it. Now, now the so there's on. still room for it to go wrong, you know to switch it off even from there. there. But as long as you keep an eye and know what God weapons people have, this is not good. and if more than one comes in, okay. and I used one as a hostage just to make sure that while I was killing them, the other one didn't take the opportunity. 
to shoot me because that forces him to duck down instead which is handy and if i had a weapon if i'd had more bullets in the weapon i could have also potentially killed him whilst holding the hostage but at the very least it prevented any further damage to my side um and now that we're done we're just coming up just to see if there's anything else we can collect there's usually amongst the kills there's one molotov like a guy drops which we've got so we'll take that we'll save our pills so we can get the next health upgrade um and then the other potential pickup outside will be a melee weapon which one of the guys who we blew up may have dropped it doesn't look like ah there we are there's the pipe so we get those two and then in the bank we can get the brick Or some parts and then that pretty much gives us everything that we're going to get to take you through to the next area ah it's my mistake some more parts over here as well Now again, with financial district, it is worth practicing that a few times because you need to get used to knowing when enemies are coming, listening to the audio cues, and also potentially dealing with variations in behavior. But overall, as long as you are able to get into that one room at the back, the office, then... Uh, you can do have a relatively safe spot from which to attack. And then when we move on here, we'll do some upgrades at the workbench. Now, in the upcoming area, there are two guys, one with a melee weapon and one with a shotgun. We're sure they made it out of the city now we need to if you have a brick then you can there better have been an army in that truck quite easily take both out hey, man. and to boot get a new pipe to swap for the one that you've used however if you i'm just saying it's good having you on my side you don't necessarily have to take them out if you've got a melee weapon you don't get any drops from this guy so you can wait for them to leave in which case the place to wait after coming up the stairs would be back here if you do want to take them out and you're not 100 percent sure of taking them ahead on this is also a good place to to wait to ambush them But yeah, it's just those two guys. There's a melee weapon in it. There's a new brick there. And we can also get a health pickup if we need it. And then we're on to the next major fight. Now in this area, we've got three people upstairs with a fourth who will join them. Um, and three more downstairs and they all have to die to be able to pass through the area so what we're going to do if we stay low as we move through we won't get seen going past the police car 
be aware that this is one of like several places where there are trip mines. So we move quite quickly to go up these stairs. Stay low. And as we do, this guy with the shotgun, we want to take him by surprise. And then we should just about have time to do that. Now, he's the only one who will come up from the other group, the, the guy with the melee weapon. You see him? He's fucking not here! And he's fairly easy to deal with. So, again, just to, just to clarify on that, you get up the stairs fast to be able to take out the shotgun, wielding an armored guy with stealth, and then from here you can take out the first red shirt. I use the narrow, you can use a different gun if you prefer, that, because even if you do it in stealth, his mate, the second red shirt, will see that, so you'll need to kill them both. And then the melee guy will show up. Now, the remainder, the two of them have rifles. We'll be downstairs, so what we want to do is try and catch... Guy with rifle by surprise, if we can. I got nothing over this way. Me either. Because they lose sight. As long as you stay up here, they lose sight of you. Eventually, it's just tough to get a good angle where you can see exactly where they are. But. Once you do, as long as you don't shoot him in the helmet. He will go down in one from the rifle. There he is. Oh, As will he. Yeah, and that might take some practice with the aim, but as long as you get them center of mass, don't worry about headshots or anything like that. And that will just leave the one remainder. Who always stays by the top right corner of the level because he always guards the exit. There's nothing to collect in the bookstore. Although if you do go in, just be aware that there's a mine there. Excuse me. Savage Starlight. The comic I've been reading? It's what the hero says after a big battle. <laughs> Endure and survive. Yeah. <laughs> okay.
And so with that, we can pick up one more shotgun shell here. Some tape here. And we can go into the ship door. There you go. And this will also leave us enough material for a shiv for the next one, once we meet Henry and Sam. And the next shiv door after that, we will automatically have a shiv for, which I will explain once we get to it. But, uh, as long as we're loaded up and good to go, we can move on to the next area. So down here we're going to be dealing with the truck. Let's go through the alley. But also with several men who are going to be trying to Sorry, just keep your head down. get one over on us. So what we want to do first of all on this side of the road is go around here, keeping crouched. We don't have to worry about the two inside the store just yet. We can focus on their friend here and take him out. And then we need to go back to where we were. And we want either the rifle or the revolver for the one-hit kill. Because the guy with the shotgun, when we know he's got his back turned to us, we are going to jump out and kill. What the fuck are they shooting at us with? Some kind of military turret. Stay down. And then by doing that here as well, the turret will shoot, but it won't go around because we're not at an angle where it can get at us physically. Then we just wait for an opportunity with the other guy. He normally does jump up through that window rather than go out through it the way he did. But uh, once he comes back. We can take him out and because we didn't shoot the turret is unalerted which gives us a moment to come in here and get a brick now the turret will always be alerted once we cross the road so we just need to deal with that but 
the best way to do that is to wait for its barrage of fire to stop and use that opportunity to move. So, we'll go behind the police car. Then we run. I like to take both of those guys out with Molotovs purely because it means that I don't have to worry about trying to shoot them and popping my head up when the turret is pop shooting. Now, there is a risk of taking a hit as we jump through, like so. Make sure we can avoid that by having it start fire while we're still inside if we go in somewhere where it's more likely to see alternatively we can just take the hit if we know we've got enough health and now it's firing two bursts oh my mistake three it will annoy you sometimes like that and uh, change its own pattern. But there's what, two guys behind here. And then once you're sure it's moved, you can just run past. And once you're in here, you're safe. So we'll go into the back room. Sometimes there's something to collect there, but most of the time not. And then we can go up. <clears throat> So again, with the turret, it's just a case of making sure it's, it's however many complete round bursts of fire it goes through. Make sure you count, and then you'll know kind of when it's going to stop. You're not under a rush to do that, so you can kind of let it fire its bursts and then stop and then fire again and stop, just to be absolutely sure when the safe point is. But that's when you move and as long as you've killed the three on the first side the two on the other side and the two in the back are not really a huge bother and like i say i find it safer to take them out by molotov in the two there but we're okay that's choose. not mandatory And that brings us to 
Henry and Sam. Follow me. Sorry about the hole. So upstairs, we'll have another training manual. And some sugar. Place probably looks like this by now. We gotta be careful. We're right next to one of their lookout areas. This is just you and your daughter. We're not related. I'm and then on the next floor down. Someone I'd look at. Yeah. Our last shift door in Pittsburgh. Will give us a fair amount of supplies. Truck. It's been hounding us ever since we got in this damn. Sam, what are you doing? Nothing. Get rid of it. My backpack is practically empty. What's the rule about taking stuff? It weighs like nothing. The rule. What is it? We only take what we have to. That's right. Now come on. How far is this place? We're close. Really no. Close. In the next area after the three, after the toy shop, there are three men, two with guns, one with a melee weapon. You have to be crouched down very early on, otherwise they will spot you. Hunters. Shit. And even then, sometimes they will. What'd you find? Nothing to stay with her. We did it. You can't just shoot them if you prefer. And if you get into if, if you've got no throwables and you get into a firefight and you're really struggling, you can retreat to here and they, they won't actually come in here. That's a good spot to kind of allow yourself to pop up from if need be. But I find it a lot easier to just... If I'd had a smoke bomb, I probably would have hit them with a smoke bomb instead. Um, and if you want to be absolutely sure they don't spot you, then the easiest way to do that, rather than going the route that I did, would be to come out of here and go this way. And it won't work with a Molotov, because I think the Molotov will set fire as soon as it collides with the glass but you can throw a stun bomb through there as they are uh, talking and that will get them all at once either way <clears throat> that allows you to take them out pretty quickly now again speed is crucial for this next area as there are two guys are coming who you'll want to Take out pretty fast. Uh, 
as long as you get up here before they take cover, that guy will always take cover and then react to you rather than react to you before taking cover. This guy will then be a bit more sheepish. But again, there's not really too much of an issue with these two. Now we just have to wait for Sam to, for, to Henry to let us in. Through this door. You sure it's safe being so close to them? I'm the only one with the key, man. And where'd you get that? I killed one of them. He won't miss it now. Everybody through. And once we're in here, the other thing you can take Back is here. the pills. And at this point, Hello. you should have enough to upgrade Hello. your maximum health. How are you? May want to save it, though, for after the next encounter. Because if you end up without a heal, but you survive Pittsburgh, then that health increase will serve the same purpose at that point. Here we are. Now, with this encounter, you again have to kill every single enemy in the area, which includes the two that we're going to face immediately, that we're crawling up to, one more patrol on the grounds, two more behind the spotlight, and then another four who will spawn in once you go loud. These two... Pretty much every single time you can just walk up to strangle one and Sam will get the other. Okay, everyone move up. And you've got a little moment to get the supplies here if you want. Now, a lot of these guys have shotguns and rifles so the combat here can get very dicey very fast. So I would suggest two things hey you hear that clicker yeah i hear it but i don't see shit firstly wait for your right moments but then Yo, Joe, there's a guy on that line. hold up there it is Sam. there take out your first guy and then retreat to this area This couch effectively acts as a barrier beyond which when enemies try to flank you they will go around the outside and they can't get past it so they will lose you. So if you ever run into any trouble that's a good way to kind of be assured of your own safety and they'll lo usually lose you pretty quickly and then you can use that to pop up. Just be aware that if you try and shoot from here there is some sort of invisible barrier where you will miss shots. Even if they seem to be dead on. What you got? Nothing. What about you? Stay still. Just keep looking. Watch out! Again, you see, they come in as if to confront me and then run out and immediately lose me. You see him? He's not over here. And they are out over in the far corner where I am very emphatically not.
And again, we're just shooting the light really to attract them. It doesn't really do anything strategically at this point. Occasionally, Henry will even be useful and get one himself. It's rare, but it happens. Where the fuck did you go? As is whatever happened to that guy then, where he just sped sideways. As you can see from the music stopping, that's the end of it. And that gives you time to then go around the bodies and see whether they've dropped anything useful. Probably not, given our ammunition state, but even when you've got hardly any, because you will get a load back in the sewers, they tend not to give you that much. But again, yeah, it's just worth bearing in mind that retreating to behind here is valuable. And when the enemies try and flank you, they'll always try and flank you by going around here. And obviously they can't get any further than this. So as far as they are concerned, you're gone. And that allows them to that allows you to regain the advantage of stealth. Henry, give me a hand with this. All right. You ready? Now, beyond this gate, there is another guy who will pop up on the trailer. Particularly if you don't have any ammo, it's useful to know that if you just hide behind here... Hey, they're over here! Oh, no. Then Sam will fire off a shot. Got him. Even if it doesn't look like he's aiming anywhere remotely near the guy's direction, it will always hit. Keep your eyes open. We ain't out of this mess. And that will save you from uh, having to deal with him or potentially getting shot by him. And then after this cinematic, immediately run to the door and hold triangle. Now, once you're in here, we've got another six, I believe, enemies. And you've got this little bar area, which can be extremely useful, both for cover and for protection. So, because we have a shotgun, we can just... Pop up in surprise. And then with the guy with the... Ah! 
got your back. Now, if all else fails, if you're out of ammo, you can wait at the corner. That obviously risk leads to you risking getting shot, but if you don't have any ammo for any reason, that's a useful tactic. And there we go. He's the last. My mistake. I said four. I think I, I, think I said six. There's actually four. Where'd you fucking go, man? Again, Let's just wait until that last possible moment. If you've got no ammo and being on a corner, will allow you to attack the one that's nearest you. It doesn't account for their buddy you're shooting you, as you as we saw, but it is a potential lifesaver if you've got no way otherwise to uh, defend yourself. Or if you're not confident with your shots. This part is scripted, but it's worth making sure that you run around the obstacles and not try and leap over them just to be sure that you don't get hit by any stray bullets. Again, especially if you're quite low on health at this point for any reason. And if you're not 100 percent sure whether you are low on health if you are then at this point hey, we're gonna search this area. you would be faced with vibrations up. from the controller and a red How screen just to confirm you cool? your position but i think yeah. what we will do now is we will find that radio tower. upgrade our maximum health there if you enjoyed this video then please give it a like and consider subscribing to keep up to date with all the content like the video that just popped up, which YouTube thinks you should watch next. This is a Patreon and member supported channel, so if you want to become a member and unlock custom badges and emojis, early access to my videos, and your name in the credits, then click the join button below. Thanks very much for watching, and see you next time!